Hi, my name is Justin, and I'm here at CAD Star Learning Center in the West Coast Digital Enamel Campus. Today we're going to talk about troubleshooting your MCXL as far as getting it through error messages, getting it cleaned out, making sure it works for you. So when you get that water pressure error, bright red light, how do you get through that as fast as possible? Because you want to make sure that you're milling, milling, otherwise pulling your hair out, you're going crazy. The way we've found to get around this issue the fastest is to have an extra tank ready to go. That way, you switch them, then you're stuck cleaning this while that stays milling, and you're good to go. That way, a 12 minute milling cycle doesn't turn into 20, doesn't turn into 30. If you try and shake it and you just top it off with water, sometimes that will get you through it but other times it will just cause the same exact error message two minutes after it starts milling again. If you do want an extra tank, if you have Patterson, just call, ask for the parts department. If you don't have Patterson, contact your CERC material provider. They will get you hooked up with the right tank. Now I see you have two filters here. If you have only one filter, that's fine. They will help make sure that you get the right one for your MCXL, whether it's an MC, MCX or an MCXL. If you're not going to use it immediately, let it dry out. Serona doesn't want you to let it sit for longer than a week if it's not being used. So again, don't fill it until you're ready to use it. Now when you're removing the pieces in this tank, you're going to want this tool. This tool is a tank cap tool. It actually has a spot to unscrew the lid, the filters, and the drain. Each spot fits perfectly, makes it incredibly easy. It's important to know they don't want you to tighten anything with this tool. It can easily over tighten and possibly damage something. Now it's time to clean this out. You want to clean the filters, rinse it out really well with your hopefully a spray nozzle. If you don't have a spray nozzle at your sink, just fill it with water, close everything off, shake it real well because you don't want to see any of that sediment at the bottom. You don't want to see any of the buildup. Now you're cleaning the filter. A couple ways I've heard people do this. Easiest way, take the spray nozzle, spray it really, really well. Make sure that you're getting all the buildup out of the corners of this thing. You want it to dry as clean as possible. Other people have actually told me that they will ultrasonic their filter. It's really easy. You just pull it away from the cap, comes off really easily and you can just toss this in the ultrasonic. It's easy enough. Other times, I will actually do the Ziploc ultrasonic, where I just fill up a Ziploc bag, usually gallon size, with a little bit of water, throw this in there, shake it really well, and that actually gets majority of the buildup, cleans this out pretty well. The spray nozzle, however, will usually clean out all those little bits and pieces that are left over. And when you're done, you just make sure the labels are pointing out, and you just put it right back on and you're good to go. Just make sure that the spring is also in there when you put it back together. Ideally, you have extra filters that you can swap out. So Rona recommends that you replace the filters every three months. If you were to replace the filter every time you switch out the tank, that will give the old filters time to dry and they can last a little longer. And techs we've talked to say that the last up to a year if you continually switch out filters every time you clean the tank. Serona recommends that you use 75 milliliters for each tank full. Make sure you shake it really well and you'll fill it to the top line in the cap that they give you. When you fill the tank, you want to use Dentatec and distilled water. If you stick to that ratio, you should never have any problems. If you're a lab and you're milling a lot of materials that maybe are not ceramic, you may want to double check and see if you need to change any of your ratios. Otherwise, 75 milliliters, you're good to go. 